BT Catfishing Adventures. Um, I'm on the Ohio River today. I'm bank fishing. We're going to give that a try for a little bit. Um, I have an external microphone we're trying out today. The wind is up. Um, hopefully, my back is going to block some of that so it doesn't interfere with our mic. Uh, we're going to go live for about an hour. I've got three rods out. I'm going to turn the camera around here. Um, and show you what we've got going on here and we've got the three rods right here the ones I call the the twins and uh, then we have uh, a third rod out uh, I'm using strawberry flavored jello chicken today and on one of them I have good old night crawlers that's right I put a big old mess uh, several huge night crawlers on the hook and we've thrown them out we have high winds out here today about 20 to probably 27 miles per hour I'm gonna guess uh, it's uh, right now there's it's calming down for a second but we're having some pretty good gusts out here today I spoke to another gentleman along the bank uh, that's fishing down here and uh, he's had some uh, nips and uh, at his baits down here. He had only been fishing for about 30 minutes or so. So we're hoping we're gonna be able to get into something today down here. Like I said, we'll go live for a, um, about an hour if uh, the signal holds out. Hopefully we've got a good signal. Uh, it's, you know, until you get going, you just don't know sometimes. Uh, it'll tell you you have bars on your you know uh, for your reception and then next thing you know you're, you're cutting out and you're buffering and all that good stuff and uh, or people can't hear you because the audio is all messed up we're gonna we're gonna get this figured out on this height adjustment here where we need to be with this in just a minute folks but uh, we are fishing in October down here on the Ohio. And uh, we're just gonna, gonna give it a shot today and see how this thing goes, how it plays out. Now, it is late October. Um, and uh, as you know, around the country, it can be very, very cold in October. But today, it's supposed to be up in the I believe upper 70s today so I will take that for late October you better believe it uh, if I can if I can have it that kind of temperature in October uh, to mid to upper 70s and uh, down to 50s and 60s at night then my doggy I'll take that for as long as we can have it uh, for sure for sure, for sure. I haven't been out fishing um, for a little bit due to the new job. I got a new job, as many of you know, uh, and that's why the beard's gone. I uh, can't have the beard uh, with that job. Uh, that's a no-no. So I've had to trim, the, trim that off and uh, go with a real short, 1970s mustache here uh, we are allowed that so uh, you know you take what you can get I guess but uh, today I had the opportunity it's my first uh, one of my first days off in several several days I've been uh, working several days straight and uh, putting in some overtime as well at the new job uh, volunteering to do that uh, to help out and um, today I, I have a day off and I have an opportunity to uh, to get out here and fish and I'm, I'm going to do that I thought I might just sleep in today uh, but no um, I had about right at five hours of sleep and I said I need to go get up and get out and go fishing um, thought about sleeping in today and then uh, watching some football a little later today but I thought, uh, you know what? I need to be out and uh, casting some lines and uh, 
grounding some bait, you know, so that's what I'm doing. We're going to come down here. I'm coming down here today. I'm going to uh, give it a few hours out here today and see if we can get a hold of anything. Um, we've had some lower temperatures here recently, last day or so. They've started to go back up. Uh, so with that being somewhat consistent temperature-wise, um, I'm hoping the fish are biting. Now, am I going to be in the spot where they're biting? I don't know, but uh, I'm ready to try and find out. So if you're able to join me today, I appreciate you joining me. Be sure, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already. And uh, if you have, we do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Miss Tammy is not with me today. She is working. That's right. She is on the ambulance uh, on the street and uh, trying to uh, take care of all those people in need out there. And She does uh, fine work. Uh, and uh, that's, that's the type of job I definitely wouldn't be able to do. I've, I've done things and seen some things, but uh, the stuff that uh, she does, uh, yeah, I, that's not something uh, that I could do. Um, I, I'd worked at the hospital before and uh, did some cleanup there when I was in my late teens and going into a, an ER emergency room after they've worked on somebody and, and uh, you got all that blood and matted up hair and stuff and... Uh, those doctors can't hit a trash can. Where They cannot play basketball. That's why they became doctors. I tell you right now, they cannot play basketball because they cannot hit a trash can if their life depended on it when they're throwing stuff away. And uh, so, yeah, that's, you know, they get, they get near it, you know. They probably hit the rim sometimes, but it's not going in, folks. I can tell you from experience, it's not going in the trash can. So that's, you know, they were never going to be professional basketball players. That's why they had to be doctors, um, because they just can't, they can't hit the bucket. So there you go. Uh, but uh, she gets out there and she works hard several days a week, and she just volunteered the other day. She had a little mishap, had a little injury. Uh, she was taking some photos and uh, she had a little fall and, and fell and uh, injured her hand and, and mostly her thumb there. And uh, so she's been having to wear a brace and uh, she's working with that on. So she's still at it. Uh, bless her heart. She's, uh, she's a trooper and not going to give up and let something like that hold her back. So she's out there today. Uh, and I'm uh, going to be out there helping people in need. So hopefully we'll be back soon. Um, hopefully, let's see, our schedule doesn't match up this weekend. But uh, next weekend, I believe, uh, we have the weekend off. And we're probably going to be doing some fishing during that time. So hopefully, hopefully we can hook into something and... Uh, be able to get a episode worthy number of catches so we can put uh, put a show together and put that out there for you guys um, I hope you guys are taking advantage um, of uh, going to our community section and checking out our poll section there uh, we, we do those those polls on our, our community section almost daily uh, to keep, uh, to keep the channel active and relevant and hopefully, uh, you know, that's something that you guys and gals will enjoy to get out there. And like I said, it gets the, uh, a, a chance for us to get to know our audience better. Uh, the things that you do, the things you like, um, whether you're the bank type fisherman that likes to sit back and just, like I said, relax and chill, uh, or whether you're that really hardcore guy out there and you're tournament fishing and uh you know in in the boat and and you're going after those monster catfish 
uh, or if you're, you know, just in that John boat, uh, much like we do, and and uh, sometimes you're out looking for eater-sized fish, and uh, you know we're all in the same family of, of cat fishermen there, and uh, we just, uh, you know, all may have little tw different twists, little ideas on what we do if we catch and release all our fish, whether we keep a lot of fish, or just like us, sometimes on a rare occasion, we'll keep those fish. Uh, I, Miss Tammy hadn't done it yet, y'all, but I'm, I'm wanting that fish fry real soon. If you've watched some of our recent episodes, uh, you know we have kept uh, a few fish recently, and we haven't had a chance to get into them yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to a fish fry. You know, you have good old fish fry, and Miss Tammy has, uh, she has uh, conquered that, learned how to master doing that, and making up some, some good old hush puppies and stuff, and uh, whew, and some homemade coleslaw, man, and throw some french fries in there, and you got a meal. Now, that's maybe not the most healthiest meal in the world, but you got a meal, and uh, it's, whew, it's something to enjoy. Uh, and definitely, uh, us folks here in Kentucky, that, that's definitely a good old fish fry. Is something we're definitely going to enjoy and pig out on. Uh, we, we surely do love that. But uh, we haven't done it yet, but it's coming. It's coming. We may give y'all a sneak peek of our, our fish fry, uh, whether we do a little video clip or... Uh, uh, you know, just take some pictures or something like that. Hey, y'all, also be sure to check out our YouTube short channel. Well, it's on here, but if you go into videos, click on the video link there and look under shorts. Uh, we have all kinds of, you know, of, of episodes that we've done for little snippets of, uh, of those shows usually. And uh, a lot of them are you know, or some of them are the funny moments, or we turn it into something funny anyway. Try and make it uh, entertaining. And uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, we get out here and do this to hopefully, sometimes for some of you, may, maybe be uh, a little bit educational um, for you, maybe with some tips and techniques and tactics that we use. Uh, and uh, that works for us, you know, and uh, but uh, maybe they'll work for you too, you know, so. But the other part of it is the entertainment value and comic relief many times. So <laughs> there you go, there's that part of it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, we do, we hope y'all enjoy the episodes that we put out. It's been a lot, of, it's, I've got to say, it's been a lot of hard work. Uh, I think in, uh, what is it, coming up in March, yeah, mid-March um, of next year, that will log us uh, two full years of uh, the B&T Catfishing Adventure. So, you know, we've been having fun doing it, but it is a lot of work. It's a lot of expense. We spend a lot of money uh, on the boat uh, and... Uh, on fishing equipment and so on and so forth and as of right now you know our channel's not monetized so we're not getting we're not getting paid for this right now uh everything we're doing is out of just pure enjoyment for the love and the sport of fishing and uh and and bringing to you guys and hopefully being somewhat entertaining you know and hopefully you enjoy that um we're hoping we're you know getting really close to our, what is it, uh, 4,000 viewing hours. You have to have 4,000 view, viewing hours and 1,000 subscribers to get monetized. Well, we're, in, uh, we're over the 3,000 viewing hours right now and we've got over, well, um, I think over 650 or 660 something subscribers currently right now so we're moving along uh some channels take uh you know a full two and three years 
to do that, to get to that point. We're hoping we can get enough subscribers right before that two year mark. So we'd like to see it happen by late February at least. Uh, so we can hopefully be monetized before the Catfish Conference comes up in February. Now, if you folks have not been to the Catfish Conference, whether it's the one in Kentucky or uh, Kansas City, uh, you know, you guys are missing out. Um, we've only been to one. We've seen videos and stuff of the Oklahoma one. Now, I know the first year, it was, uh, last year was the first year for the Oklahoma City CatCon, and some people complained that it was smaller. Well, of course, it's not going to be. What? Oh, you going to chime in? Uh, it, of course, it's not going to be as big as the one in Kentucky on, in its first year. Uh, these things take time to grow. The one in Kentucky has been around for a few years now, and um, all the vendors from all over the place swamp to the uh, Kentucky event and uh, and it's huge we got to go to our first one uh, February and uh, we totally thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it the catfish dude Mr. Stephen Douglas uh, and his group and, and crew there of people they put on a fantastic fantastic event if you're into fishing of any kind uh, it's going to be at the Catfish Conference. Yeah, it's, it's called a CatCon or Catfish Conference, but uh, they got more than that. Folks, I'm going to turn this around. Uh, I just got some bite on the night crawler down there, and I'm going to try and set this where you can watch that rod tip with me. It's the one on this end right here. Now, I'm going to unclip this mic. We just had a couple good tugs. Yeah, bear with me now as I try and get this microphone set. And audio quality may be diminished somewhat, so be prepared for that. But this rod right here just had about three little taps, little quick taps right here. Well, that's the one we're watching. And I know he ain't still in that bait with those three little taps. Because I can tell you for a fact, I put on about, so I don't know, it may have been like four, four huge night crawlers on there. And uh, you're gonna need to do more than that to steal all of them off that hook, I do believe, in those little bitty dinky taps right there he just did. So whatever it is, I'm hoping he will come back and give us another try. Shoot y'all, I don't know. He, you know, he may have tasted some night crawler and spit that right back out and said, you know, that, that's nasty. That's nasty. Where's the chicken? I heard you put chicken out. Well, I did put chicken out, but that's on the twins. That's over here on these other rods. You're going that way. You're over here, so you need to you need to go that way. If you're a fish of any size worth catching, you need to go the other way. Then, if you're not a fan of the night crawler. Now, how many of you viewers out there are somebody that does use night crawler from time to time? You know, hit thumbs up or something, uh, or hit it in the comments or something if you use night crawler from time to time. That's good old school catfishing right there. It is good old night crawlers. Big old fat juicy night crawlers. Um, caught tons and tons of, of fish, generally channel cats over the years. And, uh, but I'm hoping to do it again, at least. It doesn't have to be a channel. It could be a flathead. It could be a, a blue. I don't care. I'm I'm good with with any of those species that want to hit. Um, right now, I'm just looking for that first bite, that first skunk busting fish. Well, I've had the bite. I just need him to hook up now. 
Um, but folks, it looks like he's done swum off. I think he is not a fan of night crawlers. All right. Uh, what you gonna do, you know? You get, you, you know, I like to come out and generally use a variety of baits. Um, you know, when we can. If it's my ideal type fishing, I usually like to have about two to three different types of baits. Now, I will go with my chicken. i become a quite, quite a big fan of the flavor of chicken. It does us right when we're in the boat. You know, when we can travel, when we can find the fish, we're going to get them to bite. Um, simple as that. We're going to catch fish nowadays. Um, but sometimes you just don't know what it is they're wanting to, you know, to bite that day. So um, it's good to have a night crawler along. That's a good, a good bait in general just to have. Um, and of course, cut bait. You know, if you've got fresh bait or a cut bait, uh, whether it's bluegill, or skipjack, moon eye, or something of that nature, some shad, uh, it's great to have on hand. Because, like I said, you just never know what they're going to be after on a particular day. Uh, that obviously can vary from time to time. But I hope you all out there have been out uh, this year. For those of you that can, we know we have viewers out there that uh, maybe just uh, or you know are homebound and, and just cannot get out. Uh, for one reason or other, just not physically capable of doing it or doing it anymore. Uh, and uh, so many of you like to uh, to get to set in the, in the recliners or whatever and watch us fish. That was just another tug on that same rod right there. I don't know if y'all just seen that or not, uh, but we just had another little nibble right there on that rod. So I told you, I told you he did not steal all the bait off that off that one right there it's going to take him a while to keep hitting that before before he can take it all so if he wants it you know come on back try it again and again that that we have night crawler on that one and uh it has been hit now it's bounced about a total of four times little twitch over the last few minutes here uh, I'm gonna guess it's little dinks at this point you know that's my feeling on it little dinks I'd rather just leave it alone and, uh, and wait for the big boy to come by and grab it instead of just down there pecking and pecking away and and uh, eating my bait up Mm -hmm. As I was saying though, I hope you, uh, everybody's had a good chance to get out this year. At least a few good times uh, to get out and fish. And whether you've had, you know, really successful days or not, you know, sometimes that's not the thing. Sometimes it's just getting out, whether it's by yourself and getting out and relaxing and taking a break from the rest of the world and just breathing for a minute, you know. That, uh, that's the big thing for a lot of people. It's a stress reliever, and uh, it, it, you know, it, it's just very relaxing and very fun and something enjoyable to do. And being out in nature, and uh, get, get, you know, being able to see what the good Lord created out here, and uh, and being able to enjoy and appreciate that. But there's the others of you out there that are out there, and you've hopefully had some very very successful days fishing this year many of you uh you know are, are still planning on fishing into uh throughout october and september and maybe into uh possibly early november and then some of you yep and i don't blame the I, folks i don't like the cold <laughs> I, I am not a fan of the cold so uh, for those of you that do not fish 
through the super, super cold months, I totally get it. I totally get it. Now, Miss Tammy and I, we fished those cold months last year. We fished November for sure, maybe even some in December. Uh, I know we were fishing in February. I'm not sure about January. Uh, I, I can't recall, but I know every day throughout, uh, throughout last year and then early this year, every day that we had the opportunity and decent weather and uh, we were going to be on the water. You know, we were going to be, whether it was on the bank somewhere, fishing a, a small, you know, public pond or lake, um, or whether we were out here on the river, we were going to try and get out there and get it done. Sometimes we did, and sometimes we flopped, and you may not have seen those episodes. So, <laughs> but very rarely are we totally shut out but sometimes there's, there's just not enough footage uh, and enough catches to put on an actual episode. Oh, folks, there it was again. <laughs> I, hope some, I hope the camera is allowing y'all to see this. I don't know whether you, you can see that or not, but it just did its little twitchy dance again there. And, uh, I wish whatever it is to just go ahead and really bite down. We do, uh, I do have a large hook on that one. I, I, it's probably a size nine hook on there, y'all. And I've got some big old juicy, and I'm talking huge, huge night crawlers on that. Now, I went on the left what I had on my twin rods. They're actually smaller hooks than I normally fish on those, but they're size fives. And, uh, I have uh, strawberry flavored chicken on those. And again, night crawler on this one. And, uh, but obviously a size five can catch some nice size catfish, but I generally run something larger than that. Uh, generally and the, uh, normally in the, the size eight range is what I normally put on the twins or have over the last year almost two years uh is what i normally run on my catfishing rods uh, i've stepped up to this hook right here and really enjoy it uh and i'm gonna turn the camera right back around and the reason i'm doing that y'all yeah, i'm getting tired of standing up to be quite honest, to be quite honest uh i'm gonna sit down and look look i done did it again we're gonna have to make the adjustments all right, let's see. Let's see if that will work. Oh, whoo! No, I'm gonna do it one more time. Y'all wearing me out getting up now. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Woo! Well, all right. So we've now had about three or four little twitches on that one on the one rod here, and. Uh, I still have had no bites yet on the other two at this point. Uh, hydration break time, y'all. <laughs> Stay hydrated. But, um, yeah, I thought today I was going to wear this flannel, this flannel shirt here. I was going to wear it as a prop, you know, and uh, because it is fall, you know, and it's, it's late October, you know, so you think, okay, it's going to be, it's going to be cold. Well, again, like I said earlier, for the, those one and a half people watching, uh, that the temperature down here today is supposed to be up in the 70s. Um, I believe upper 70s, maybe even able to squeak out that 80 uh, degree temperature today. Man. And uh, so I was going to wear this and then uh, rip it off and, you know, have my 
sleeveless shirt dog, you know, fishing out here in late October. <laughs> but I get down here and uh, I knew it was supposed to be windy today. Uh, you know, 15, maybe just up to 20 miles an hour. And I get down here and I see a lot of 20 uh, to 25, 27-ish type of range. Um, type winds out here. And I'm thinking, you know what? It's kind of a good idea that I decided to to wear that because <laughs> that that wind is uh, that causes a little bit of a chill. Uh, I got out here uh, and yeah, I you know about five hours of sleep and then. Uh, Went and picked up some night crawlers. I went on and made some bait up yesterday. And uh, let that marinate uh, overnight in the refrigerator while I was at work. And came home and like I said, I got about five hours of sleep and, and uh, got up this morning and went and picked up the night crawlers, grabbed me a little breakfast sandwich uh, to eat on the way. and. Uh, went by Miss Tammy's house where uh, I had these rods and she had uh, so graciously put them in uh, my boat driftwood there for me to pick them up and uh, now I only asked her to be honest I only asked her to put uh, three rods out there and uh well, she put four out there. So, I don't know whether she thought she was trying to help me out more by giving me that extra rod or not. I mean, I may need it. Uh, or she was trying to say, get your rods back to your place. Get them out of here. So, I, I, I'm not sure on how to take that. <laughs> so, it is what it is, I guess. And, uh, and we'll see. But uh, anyway, y'all, it's getting about time that I need to check at least that one bait um, because it's done had a few taps. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and check that one. I'm gonna turn the camera around here a little bit, set it up somewhat, so maybe y'all can tell somewhat about what's going on here. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just reel this one in. Like I said, it has night crawler on it, or it did when I threw it out there. It had night crawler, and uh, we're gonna bring it in. But it had several hits. Woo! Look at that. It still has a lot of night crawler on there. Y'all see that? That's still a lot of night crawler, but that is a big hook. So. You know, it's a good possibility that the dinks down there could just be down there nipping at it and they'll chew it off. You know, we're going to find out because I'm just going to take this and put it right back out there. Well, like I said, it's, it's been hit several times. Uh, probably, probably up to five times now. I'm going to guess that that has been hit. Uh, tapped whatever and uh, we're going to put it back out there and let them have another shot at it you know see if it's uh, something they're really going to want or not clean here all right and uh, I may have checked those baits out here again before too long but uh, anyway, we're gonna turn this back around and uh, let's see if we can get that camera adjustment just right. I'm gonna grab this mic back off here now. I put it on there a while ago because that, uh, that rod was getting some hits. So I didn't want to get, uh, it, you know, it's not a wireless, I mean, wireless microphone is so it's got about six foot worth of, of line on it 
but I'm, I'm kind of tethered. I'm on a leash here, y'all. And uh, so I hooked it uh, over there by the camera a while ago when I thought I was about to get a fish. But uh, yeah, it was a false alarm. He was just uh, knocking on the door and running, you know. You know how that is, those kids, darn kids, how they knock on the doors and just take off running. You know what I'm talking about. A lot of y'all probably done that too. Come on, be honest. You probably did it too. <laughs> but uh, dag on it, yeah, it wasn't to be. I was hoping to uh, have a skunk buster there and get that first fish in a while ago on those little bites, but it just didn't happen. So we put it back out there. It still had some bait on there, so we put it back out and uh, we're gonna try it. Folks, the Ohio River is way, way down. Um, yeah, from, from where it is right now, it's probably close to maybe 10 foot down. I haven't I haven't checked the dams and stuff, but all right, I'm going by what the gentleman I saw earlier when I first got out here said. Uh, now, he lives down in this area. Uh, and uh, that's what he said, and I'm going to have to agree. We put our boat down in here quite often. And uh, I lived in this area for about 11 years at one time, but it's been a while back. And... Uh, but the water is way down. So what I've got here is a, a shelf uh, where it just goes straight out. You've got a flat that goes out. And uh, I'm gonna guess it goes out for, shoot, probably 15, 20, I don't know. Uh, maybe 10 to 15 yards, probably. There's a flat, I'm gonna guess. Uh, before the before it starts dropping well and with that being said with the river as low as it is right now um, it's very low so uh, no matter where I'm at if I'm casting out right now I'm fishing pretty pretty daggone shallow now I don't know if uh, <clears throat> any of y'all heard a lot of the rivers and the major rivers and things coming through uh, a lot of the states the water levels are dangerously low and that can affect your barge traffic so um, I know up at uh, Kentucky Lake and uh, Lake Barkley <clears throat> the dams there they are going to be they, they probably started this a few days ago they're starting to release some water off of those, they're uh, more than normal. They're they're opening up now. Those areas are already fairly shallow because they're at uh, you know winter pool, and we've had no rain, so they're probably lower when than what the average normal winter pool is. Well, they're now opening those dams up to create water. Uh, more water on the uh, Tennessee and the Cumberland River and uh, and help those those rivers out so any uh, any barges that come through on the from the main uh, main rivers and things coming out through there uh, will have a little bit more water to float the boat right because right now it's dangerously low and, uh, you know, they're trying not to have barge traffic come to a standstill. That would be a nightmare for a lot of these companies and factories and, and businesses out there. So, fingers crossed that, uh, that somebody somewhere along the line gets some rain here for long and, and can up these bodies of water, these, these levels that are dangerously low in the country right now in many many places so hopefully that uh, that will happen now the sad thing is now I said get some rain someplace all right 
that's key and, and if you've been watching I mentioned earlier that uh, me, me and Miss Tammy haven't been able to get together to go fishing well next weekend um, we have same days off I believe and uh, but wouldn't you know it I think we have chances of rain on both of those days so there you go uh, hopefully the temperatures are still fairly decent I think uh, obviously it's not going to be you know upper 70s or 80 degrees like it is here today or supposed to be here today but uh, you know but if it can be in the uh, shoot mid upper 60s I'd be okay with that but uh, yeah I woke up this morning and like I said it uh, it was supposed to get down in the 50s but uh, it was I think about 63 degrees when I when I woke up this morning uh, and th and that was oh um, sorry I'm distracted y'all I think I got a hit uh, a little tug now maybe that was the wind but it hadn't been affecting like that yet looked like I may have had a small little tug on one of the twin rods over there with the strawberry uh, chicken on it and uh, but these fish you know they're gonna have to just quit playing around I had some tugs over here about five little tugs on this one rod over here that's running night crawler right and now I just get this one over here hit these fish you know they got to commit you know they got to quit just playing games and they got to commit and just uh, they just got to go ahead and, and uh, go for it. I don't know if y'all can see it behind me, but out in front of me, there's leaves flying and dropping all over the place. Yeah, it's definitely fall. And uh, that's the reason for that season being called fall right there. <laughs> leaves falling off the trees, folks. I'm hoping uh, wherever you're at, you still have some nice weather out there, some some uh, good time still to get out and get some good fishing in wherever you're at uh, for you cat fishermen. Now you, uh, you know, you bass fishermen, obviously still catching, can catch fish right now. And uh, those crappie fishermen, woo, you know, uh, things are probably in many areas really, really starting to turn on for you crappie fishermen. And uh, it looks like you might uh, might have some, some good crappie weather for a while coming up. Right now, I'm guessing, uh, you know, with the temperatures the way they are, they're probably, some of those crappie are stop, uh, probably still in the shallows in, in some of the areas, some bodies of water, um, before they go out in that deeper deeper stuff so it may make them a little easier to find uh, but yeah find those uh, brush pilings and <laughs> those crappie habitats that people put out there you know look for those and then a lot of you guys, uh, or there's some of you guys, you hardcore fishermen, I don't know how many of you are. Y'all you know, got to be, I mean, I, me and Miss Tammy, like I said, we'll come out and we'll fish low cold weather too. But some of y'all are just crazy. Uh, so, so, you know, some of you are sauger fishermen that are get out there in that really, really cold stuff for hours and hours and hours. And, uh, um, you know, I, I don't know. Now, uh, I've got to be honest, I've never tasted sauger before. I hear they're delicious, delicious eating. Never had one, uh, but I hear they're really, really good. But you know what? If it isn't on the menu at a local restaurant, then I'm probably not going to try it. And I've never seen sauger on the menu around this area. So, uh, 
there you go. I guess I'm gonna miss out because I am not going to go fishing for sauger in this cold, cold, cold weather. I, I'm just not going to do it. Sorry, but um, thumbs up to you all that are out there doing it. You know, but I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm not putting up that now. You know, a few years ago when I was younger and I was a, a deer hunter, I, I could dress warm. I could sit in that deer stand. Uh, you know, all bundled up with my little whatever that you you know one of those little shake up things and crunch up things they heat up you know little heat pad things and i have them all over my body you know just trying to stay warm out there uh, i could do that you know up in deer stand for a few hours early in the morning the sun comes up starts hitting you makes life feeling good now that's something miss tammy's gonna be doing for long y'all she's gonna be uh going out and uh doing some deer hunting for a long and uh but uh yeah i don't uh for me that you know i got out of it and it, now i'm thinking you know I, it might be enjoyable to get back out there and do it but uh with that shoulder surgery i had i don't think i can do that i don't know if that was a bite or not Y'all, I haven't been having or seeing, you know, current pulls on these lines, okay? Uh, and you know what I'm talking about. If you're bank fishermen, fishing the rivers, you know what I'm talking about, about the current pulling and how it will, like, suck it down and stuff and come back. I haven't had that one time today yet until just now, and that was on that night crawler rig. And uh, so I don't know. I'm going to say that probably wasn't even the current. I'm going to say that may have been a little fish tugging down there. But it was just ever so slightly he tugged it. Y'all, this is getting frustrating, though. I'm telling you. You bank fishermen, and again, I and I do it from time to time, and I used to do it all the time there for a long time. Uh, you know, bust your heart. You know, if you're really out looking for a meal, uh... You know, you're kind of kind of stuck unless you're willing to to get up and move on, up and down the bank and, and uh, you know, every 30 minutes to an hour and change spots, you know. Uh, I'm a little too lazy for that nowadays. You know, once I'm, once I'm set up, I'm there. You know, if I catch fish, I'm going to catch fish. If not, then that's, so be it, you know. But uh, seeing these little tip taps, you know, they're just teasing me, y'all. It's a little frustrating. Now, if I was anchored up out in the boat somewhere, I'd be moving at this point. You know, I'd done been gone someplace else by now. And uh, trying another spot, maybe anchored up or, you know, uh, whatever. Maybe drifting. But out here right now, you, you just take what you can get. But I'm hoping, I'm trying to catch y'all a fish, you know. <laughs> and that's what's frustrating. I'm seeing these little tip taps, and they're just not hooked up. And, uh, you know, like they, a lot, of, a lot of people will tell you, you know, going live on a show can be the kiss of death. Because it's just like, you know, you and anybody else. When you're down there on the riverbank, and you're just there, and, you know, sometimes you're going to catch fish, and sometimes you're not, you know. Uh, going live is a little different than being able to get out and, you know, when I'm, I'm out or me and Miss Tammy are together and we're out and uh, we can catch our fish and, and, and put an episode together. But going live is, uh, is definitely different. It's definitely different. But with that being said, I still want to catch fish. Now, I said, let's be honest, I said I want to catch fish for y'all, but that's not totally true. Uh, I, want, <laughs> I want to catch a fish for myself, y'all. Come on. <laughs> if you're like me, you want to catch your own fish too. You, know, you catch fish for yourself, but uh, you know, I do want to catch fish for y'all, but I want to catch fish because I want to catch fish. 
Uh, and that's, that's what I hope is going to happen at some point here. They're teasing me enough that hopefully sooner or later one of them is going to mess around down there playing with those hooks and they're going to get pierced. So, um, and, uh, and maybe we can reel one in for you all here in a bit. But like I said, I'm probably going to fish down here for, oh, you know, two, three, three and a half hours or so. And uh, before I call it a day and pack it in, but uh, we were gonna run this live uh, for about an hour and, uh, and see if we can do anything. And hopefully, hopefully we can. Um, again, I hope uh, in between our, our normal episodes, you guys, like I said earlier, are going to our community section uh, on a daily basis, hopefully, and uh, checking out the poll questions. Uh, get, you know, go down through there and uh, check out. There's tons and tons of poll questions on there. There's a picture or two and so on and so forth. And uh, we're, we've now uploaded a lot, a lot of short episode videos. Those, you know, uh, 15, 30 second up to, a, I think, a minute long shorts videos. So uh, we've, we've now started putting a lot of those out there. So if you got some time and you want to check them out hey be sure to do that and uh as always you know give a thumbs up if you would we'd appreciate it that helps uh helps promote the channel to youtube it tells youtube that people are watching and then youtubes will uh, you know they'll put it out there the, their their algorithms will kick in and they'll put our shows out there for more people to see so more and more people can find BNT Catfishing Adventures and, and maybe subscribe and be part of the family like, uh, like many of you are and uh, maybe some of our regular viewers. And we definitely appreciate our viewers. Uh, you know, some of you guys have been with us from the beginning. Bless your hearts, man. You've seen us. <laughs> You know, you've seen some of our struggles over the years, uh, or these almost two years now, uh, our struggle of uh, sometimes catching fish, sometimes sometimes finding, locating these fish and, and catching them. Uh, and uh, you've been there and, and watching, and we appreciate that. And some of you have, have seen us uh, catching the smaller fish. Now, sometimes where we're at, that that's you know was the targeted species of the day the the smaller channel cats possibly uh that we were wanting to take home but we were sabotaged even on our very first <laughs> our very first episode yes folks and we aired it uh we aired that episode and it was the most horrific thing that could have been put on YouTube, uh, YouTube, right then should have just uh, should have kicked us off, should have canceled our channel and said, "No, uh, uh, we ain't having that, folks." Uh, it <laughs> it was terrible. Yep, yep, we held the camera wrong, so the whole thing was recorded wrong, so the picture, you know, was like this big because of the way it was recorded and i think i don't know if we caught a couple or one or whatever but what happened what see what happened was as they say what happened was we had uh we had put the boat in we were fishing for a little while and i believe miss tammy had to go up to the car, I'd, uh, up to the truck for something. So she did that and she came back and uh, when she came back down the ramp, there was a dog following her. And uh, she got in the boat and we started taking off. Well, the dog got in the water <laughs> and he started swimming towards us. I was like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, we can't, no, we, we can't put the dog in the boat we're trying to fish and get our first YouTube episode out. 
And uh, so we're like, we pull away from the dog. Well, the dog goes to the bank, and and uh, we we take the boat on out and around, and and so on and so forth. Well, this dog runs along the bank and finds us and jumps in the water and starts swimming out to the boat, you know, driftwood out there to our boat. And it's like, no, 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 we can't, we can't let this dog mess up our fishing. Again, this is going to be our very first YouTube fishing episode, you know. So we take the boat and we basically run from the dog. Well, he goes from this bank and the water cuts through here. Uh, and so the dog swims to the other side and comes up on the land here and we're over here and then the dog jumps back in the water and starts swimming again uh, trying to come and get in the boat and it's like well we start the boat back up can't fish anymore in this spot we run on down this way a while well the dog swims on across to this bank then runs up the bank and around so on and so forth till he finds us way on down the way jumps back in the water tries to swim out man we spent most all day trying to run from this dog that we did not have a chance to catch any more fish well i put miss tammy uh dropped her off at the boat ramp and and she goes up to get the car and well she uh i'm sitting out in the water in the boat after playing around running around for a minute and uh I see her, uh, she comes on down, and in the episode I say, you know, I'm telling people we didn't really get to fish much because of the dog. Well, the dog is now standing at the top of the boat ramp up there. And I said, because of that right there. Well, I pull the boat in and, and we, uh, we go on up and uh, that dog just is all over us, uh, hanging out and then we're you know, getting things packed up and out of the boat and straightened up and so on and so forth and put in the truck and then the dog's just laying right there just staring at us and so on and so forth and uh, she had a an SUV, Miss Tammy did, and it had a hatch on it and uh, we had opened the hatch, you know, to put stuff up. Well, next thing you know, the dog goes and it decides to get up, up in the hatch and uh, apparently this dog had... Uh, been been dropped off it was a some type of uh lab type mix dog and that was a very pretty dog uh but it was obviously he had been dropped lost so on and so forth so we tried uh we uh, went and knocked on the door of the the local house and nobody was home of course figures so we turned that episode at first fishing youtube episode the horrible show where like i said we totally recorded it wrong and uh caught i think one fish and then was just chased by a dog the rest of the day we turned that into a dog rescue episode uh tried to uh, have people from that particular county we put pictures of the dogs and a video and so so, so on and so forth out there hoping that people may recognize that dog and we could get it back to its rightful owner if it had just been lost now like i said i think it was probably abandoned it, that it was dumped uh because it was trying desperately to find some new owners i'll tell you that's a fact uh but uh we took the dog back to miss tammy's house and uh it was there for I don't know, um, probably four or five days. And uh, we found, uh, she found a rescue shelter that was willing to take the dog and, and try and place the dog. And uh, luckily, we, we, she got the dog up there and was in constant contact with the, uh, that shelter for a little while. And they found, uh, in a very short period of time, they found a family for the dog. Uh, there was some, uh, the mother and father, and uh, I, I believe a couple of children, young children there. And uh, they just fell in love with the dog. And uh, I think they maybe had visits or trial time period with the dog and, 
and this and that or something to that effect and uh they finally got to take it home they adopted the dog so well our first youtube fishing uh episode was to be honest a total total bust uh, it 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 did a good thing you know it, it allowed us to be there at the right time obviously when this dog was in need for us to uh come along and grab it up finally because it worked so hard to try and come with us uh that we grabbed the dog up and was able to uh to take it home and and give it some good food and water for a few days and got to play with uh miss tammy's dog for a while and and uh we took it on some walks and so on and so forth and uh but then was able to get it to the shelter and thank goodness they were able to find that beautiful beautiful dog at home so the uh the channel i guess you know some of y'all have seen us do some uh some charity type work where we have donated some fish but i guess our first uh act of kindness or charity was was to a dog and uh and thank goodness we were able to get it someplace where it could find a home and hopefully happily live out the rest of its its years there without those family and and have hopefully many years to come uh growing up with those children but uh Folks, I right now those nibbles have stopped. Things have come to a bust down here. Um, if you've been watching, I appreciate you dropping by and stopping in and visiting with us. Uh, and uh, my goodness, again, sometimes live episodes. This is what you get, uh, but. Uh, like I said, we're, we're probably going to be able to get out next weekend, uh, Miss Tammy and myself, and, and uh, hopefully get driftwood out and be able to cover some ground, look for some more fish, put some in the boat, and uh, have enough for a, another episode uh, really, really soon. Uh, again, if you have joined in on this live stream, uh, I appreciate you jumping in here. And uh, like I said, it's been pretty much a bust. We were gonna go live for about an hour. I'm not sure how long it is. It, it's probably, oh, it looks like it's maybe just over that. So um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Again, if you're, if you're a regular subscriber to our channel, we appreciate you so much. You don't even know uh, as we've worked really, really hard uh, to try and grow our channel and uh, it's been a, a very much of a learning process, uh, not just about learning more about catfishing, but learning about YouTube itself, uh, how the videoing of YouTube, you know, is done or can be done better and improved on. And uh, we're going to try and continue to in, improve our channel, improve our episodes to, uh, to bring you guys more entertaining videos or educational videos or just hilarious videos something for uh <laughs> you guys to laugh at if nothing else but uh like i said we're gonna wrap it up today uh and it looks like it may be a skunk buster i'm gonna go ahead and fish maybe another hour hour and a half if i get some uh, uh fish today i'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures or maybe get a little short video out of it and uh it may be posted in our shorts but y'all check out our short videos while you're doing that. Uh, and uh, also be sure to give us thumbs up on our episodes, uh, the short videos or whatever. Because like I said, that helps YouTube promote the channel. Again, guys, we appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Sorry, uh, things weren't happening today, but it's, uh, it's good to see y'all stopping in and watching the short, or, or this, this uh, live video. And, uh, as it were today and uh we're hoping to to bring some actual action to you for long uh hopefully this this coming weekend anyway you guys be safe 
Uh, if you're out there fishing, be careful out on the water. If you're on the bank, good luck to you. Hoping you have better luck than I have had today. It has been a uh, bust. I've just had about maybe six little bites uh, in, the, in the hour so far. Little taps is all I'm getting. So uh, not even enough to, to steal my bait yet. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate it. And hopefully, like I said, me and Miss Tammy will be back out on the water maybe this weekend and that we can get an episode together to bring to you. Until then... Be sure to check out our community section uh, and scroll down through there and answer all those polls if you haven't already. And uh, be sure to also watch our short videos. Uh, those are fun. So uh, we're enjoying putting those out uh, quite often too. We don't put those out daily, but uh, maybe every other day or so, two or three, we'll try and get a short video out. And uh, But we're trying to put a, at least a poll question out or something almost every day so be sure to check that out folks i'm gonna quit talking and get me something to drink but uh i'm getting a little dry doing all that talking we'll see you soon y'all take care and uh we'll catch you out on the water